Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I've been asked by a few of you to do a little walk around my new studio and so I thought I would take the opportunity to combine that with my first vlog. Anybody who knows me will know that I don't even like having my picture taken so sitting in front of a camera filming myself is the anti-me. I'm sure I will get used to it. Um, it's weirdly different to filming the tutorials. I think just because I'm so focused on teaching with the tutorials, I don't, I don't really think about anything else. But um, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has done them and who has sent me in pictures as well of your beautiful creations. They really are absolutely fantastic and it makes all of the battles with technology worthwhile. Um, I'm so passionate about weaving and, and I really love teaching it. So uh, that is the most rewarding thing in the world to be, to be sent pictures of your lovely things. So um, yeah, keep them coming and I really hope you're enjoying them. There's plenty more in the pipeline. Um, I'll keep, I'm trying to update YouTube weekly with new videos and new ideas for you, um, not just on, on actual weaving, but on how to make different looms with what you've got lying around the house. Um, and I'm trying to mix it up a bit so that there's stuff for kids and also stuff for adults as well. But most of the stuff that, that is sort of designed for kids, you get a lot of enjoyment out of as an adult as well. So um, yeah, I'm working on my big introduction to frame loom weaving workshop, uh, which is taking an awful lot longer than I had anticipated, but there's so much content in there. Um, I just want to get it all right for you. But I'll update you as soon as that's available and that will be available through my website. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, happy weaving guys. And here is my lovely new studio. So this is my new studio just outside Winchester. It's about a 10 minute drive from Winchester train station in a little village called Littleton. And I moved in here just before lockdown. So it's been quite strange moving into the studio that I was going to run all these workshops in and, and I now haven't really run any. I've done some private tuition in here, but haven't actually run any workshops. But this first room that you come into is going to be the workshop room. Uh, these little looms over here are the Erica looms. They're four shaft Erica looms by Lue, and they're really fantastic bits of kit. You can't really get much more for your money as far as a four shaft table loom goes they're um they're brilliant the the top castle collapses down on them so that even with with um your warp on the loom so you can pack them really down quite flat and then you can get them with or without the stands that they're on i like to have the stands because i never quite know where I'm going to be teaching and whether they've got enough tables. The baskets in the corner there are just um, all my frame loom weaving stuff that I cart around to teach with. And then on the shelves directly ahead are a lot of the things that I sell on my website. So there's all the vintage kimono bags. Uh, I really like the super hitch ones and the really kind of heavily embroidered ones as well i'm just a little bit addicted to buying buying the fabric and those are the the ones made out of my rainbow handwoven rainbow fabric and there's some sort of scarves down there and things um i've got all these yarns now that are all up on my website so this yarn's fantastic this is the ven Eco jeans yarn and it's made out of recycled denim, uh, which is then what the the wash bag next to it is made out of, hand woven out of. These yarns here are all naturally dyed by my mum. 
they're absolutely gorgeous. They're um, they're linen and then dyed with sort of madder, weld, onion skin, walnut. And then these are the um, organic cotton and uh, organic cotyline yarns that I sell, but I also use them a lot to weave with myself. And then that's the recycled banana yarn, which has been really, really popular. I must order some more. So that's all the yarns, and then there's all the, the weaving equipment ready to be sent out there. That's my smaller Ashford warping mill on the end of the table that I use in the workshops. And then today I've just been working on um, putting content together for my uh, introduction to frame lean weaving workshop online uh, and I've just been showing people all the different types of frame looms that you can weave on. I've got my log store there, plants everywhere but um, yeah log store to, to fuel that beast which is quite an efficient little log burner. I'm slightly regretting having lit it now. I was chilly when I got in. I'm now absolutely sweltering. And, oh, this is amazing. This kimono was given to me by somebody that just got in touch through the um, contact form on my website, and she didn't know what to do with it. Um, it's a, an absolutely beautiful full-length kimono, and the embroidery on it is just, um, is just absolutely stunning. Um, so that's going to be sent off to have bags and purses made out of it, and then I'm going to make one for the lady that um, the, the lady that gave it to me as a thank you. And this is my big loom room. Uh, that loom ahead is my Lure Magado, and she's an absolute beast. She's a 32 shaft. Um, machine and she's she's just absolutely amazing I haven't actually woven on her since I moved into the studio here but that's all to come I've got my projects lined up on top just to remind me <laughs> of what I need to do so that's um that's going to be naturally dyed hand woven upholstery fabric so I'm producing samples for various people out of that this one's going to be some very brightly coloured uh, cotyline, so a linen cotton blend, upholstery fabric again. And then these yarns here are going to be the new collection of scarves I'm producing for this autumn winter. Uh, there's going to be a lot of this pattern. Uh, I've, I've had a really great response to it and I absolutely love it. It's got quite a scando feel to it. And I'm going to be initially weaving it with with bamboo and then I've had been sent this uh, awesome looking yarn to trial which is bamboo organic cotton blend and it feels absolutely fantastic uh, so I'm excited to try that out and then that will be available on my website if I get on well with it and then that's my my yarn wall there that's my my own personal yarn stash with yarn a lot of which I've had since I was at university and I just bought huge amounts of it um, but there's all sorts in there. Um, these are the ones that I use the most regularly now. These are the, the organic cotton linen blend. And these are the 16-2 um, the organic cotton that I weave my that I weave my rainbow jacket with. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, <clears throat> these are my vintage kimonos that I've got in stock at the moment my rainbow jacket this is like a rail of um unfinished projects <laughs> or projects in the pipeline so yeah looking forward to um welcoming people in when they relax everything a little bit hopefully by the autumn and we can start running workshops again cheers guys bye